Facebook is now admitting that social media use could be bad for you, but is so far not saying that social media is the problem. Maybe you are. The psychotherapist, Dr. Robbie Ludwig. Um, I think that's what they're saying. It's not the yes. technology, it's people who are nuts and obsessed to it. Well, actually, the technology is designed to suck you in. So it plays to the serotonin that goes on in the brain. They're evaluating the brain when they're looking at these apps. And it plays on these kind of social validation feedback. So for some people, some people are going to be more vulnerable than others. And anything can create an addiction. So you just have to be aware of that. In other words, you're using it a great deal. But is there anything <clears throat> dangerous with using, let's say, Facebook? A lot, a lot of people People use that as a means to keep up with their friends, people they knew, family members. That's the sole means by which they communicate. You have to ask yourself the question, is it interfering with your life? Is it interfering with your mood? Is it making you more depressed? Is it making you more envious? Is it making you hate your friends? Because And do you there's... count your friends? That's a big thing. See, I don't want and to does be it reminded influence how, by... how many friends you think you I have? Know. I don't want to be reminded right. by how few friends I have. See, I don't need that. The problem with Facebook is that there aren't any boundaries. So sometimes it's too much information, and that's not good for an individual. You have to know yourself and use it in a way that's positive. And I think that the answer and the key is be aware of who you are, be aware of how you use anything. And if you notice that it's not good for you, pull away. If you notice it's but that's having... the problem. Apparently, a lot of people cannot pull away. Right. And if you are and in... And we used to attribute that to kids, teenagers. Right. Almost. Apparently, it's not that. No, I think it can be anyone. And, and you have to remember, it's designed that way to play on the serotonin. So if you're feeling good about getting likes or getting feedback or, or thinking about posting something in your life, that can be addictive. And if you feel you're in that category, then talk to somebody who can help you through it. They now have centers that deal with technology technology and addiction. But a lot of them don't like bad things said about them. Like I'll sometimes read about myself. Unlike me, and, I, I love bad things. And they say nasty things and it hurts my feelings deeply. Right. It affects my appetite. Yeah. Yeah. And so if you are in that category, then, you know, don't, maybe you don't. Don't read it. Right, right. Don't read it or understand that that's part of the playing field, that you will get positive feedback and you will get negative feedback. And can you well, tolerate What do you it? recommend to your clients? I mean, people who come to see you and say, you know, doctor, I'm, I'm this is driving me nuts. People are saying nasty things about me or they're, I have very few friends compared to this guy or this woman who has lots more friends. Mm -hmm. We all judge ourselves by how many, I guess, thumbs up and friends we have. I will you know recommend I mean? defriending certain people. I will recommend, um, in some cases, you need to block certain people. Um, I will also recommend to people that they consider every post almost like a, a PR strategy. People are not posting negative things about their life. They're posting the things they want you to know about them. Really? So when you are looking at anybody's post, that needs to be considered. You're not seeing the whole person's life. So you're life. getting this sort of Norman Rockwell view of someone. That's right. And it's it's a lie. It's not a lie. It's people are posting an idealized version of who they want to be and really? who they and how they want to be perceived. And so that just needs to be taken into consideration when you're looking at anybody's post. So what if what you're seeing, though, is pretty pathetic and this is the best they can do? Like, well, then I guess you can sit back and feel superior and say, gee, my life is pretty good. But bottom line, we get too much into this, right? We're all gadget all the time. We should slow down. I think it's really important to take a break because I think yeah. what's happening is is when, when it comes to our real life relationships, people can feel ignored or overlooked. So yeah. if you're looking at your phone when you're in the presence of somebody you care about, it's insulting. And I think we need to kind of redevelop our interpersonal skills and etiquette. Uh, what were you saying? Yeah, I know. You always have amazing people skills. Exactly. That's why everyone Doctor, loves you. Doctor, great seeing you again. And they, those are words to live by.